everybody, welcome to my new DVD update. Uh, I've got, I don't know, maybe 20 or more to uh, show you guys. Um, I usually wait a little bit in between each one of my uh, DVD updates because I don't really have the money to just keep buying them. So I like to get up a little bit and then take and uh, do an update so it's actually a good one. Um, I've got just a mixture of stuff. I've got a couple uh, comedies. Uh, a couple dra uh, dramas, um, a lot more, a lot of horror, uh, and a pretty good selection of stuff to show you guys today. Uh, I'm not gonna, definitely not gonna do this in like two different, uh, one, can try to do this in all in one part, but if I had to do two parts, then I will. Um, but let's get going. Alright, uh, first one is The Rug Cop, put out by Snaps Films, a part of, uh, I don't know how you get how you say this guy's name. Uh, Minoru Kawasaki collection. It's part of this. This movie is basically about a guy who, uh, like this cop who learns how to use his toupee as a weapon, and he gets teamed up with all these other uh, like uh, cops that are like they have special cool powers. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, if you get a chance to check this out, I got it for five bucks, brand new, off of eBay. Uh, I think the normal price is, I don't know, probably around like twenty, twenty-five. Um, but very, very well worth it. It's really cool. It's it's very different, you know. Uh, the next one I got actually, it's it's a part of a uh, like two like a. Uh, it's technically to be I think it's four DVDs, but it's like two different movie sets. Uh, that's called uh, Visions of Hell. But I didn't want the other movie, and I was actually able to find this one. It's Deadbeat at Dawn. I was actually able to find this two to set through uh, Half.com for because like five fifty. Because the person was trying, they had to list it as the uh, underneath like the Snaps Films release of this movie. Uh, the the actual disc, the first disc is actually in my uh, DVD player right now. I haven't got to finish uh, watching this. Uh, it's really really cool movie. It's the 1988 by let's see if I can say his name right, Jim Van Bieber or Beber. I'm not sure how you, how you say his name exactly. I also did the movie The Manson Family, which I really didn't like, but I'm gonna have to probably watch it again just to see. I don't know, I may like it now a little more. But definitely a really cool movie from what I've seen so far. Definitely worth the money. Uh, you can buy that individually, but I think it's only through Dark, Dark Sky Films, and it's like $25. Um, other than that, if you do what I did and look around. Uh, this next one is, I haven't opened it yet, it's uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula, the two disc set. I actually got this for 5 bucks at Target, because they have it in like, this little $5 section now. So I was kind of surprised it's a Tudis set. And uh, this also happened with me with uh, Spaceballs. I got the Spaceballs Tudis set also off from them for five bucks. Because I think they actually put them in the wrong spot because they put all those Tudis sets in there. And the next you know, the next, the next time I went there, all the Tudis were gone and they had just had a single disc of Spaceballs. But nonetheless, a damn good price for this one. And considering that the original one had nothing special on it. This next movie actually was sent to me by Mr. Parka, and I do thank him so much for it. Very cool dude. Uh, very happy to get this one, and it's uh, The Lorelei's Grass. Very, very cool movie. Uh, I haven't got to fully finish this. I've been really wanting to. Uh, it's by the, dire the director of this, also directed the Blind Dead uh, series. So, it's definitely promising. I've seen most of it, and it was really, really cool. They have some really cool uh, gore in here. Um, pretty interesting story. Uh, it's kind of predictable on uh, pick out what the um, Lorelei is. I never heard of that myth thing before, but apparently they ha those people on the movie have. Next one I got from... Uh, uh, it's from Big Lots, so it's three dollars. Uh, I haven't opened it yet. I'm still kind of wondering if I should even keep it, because it. But I may end up just keeping and watching it. 
and it's the movie Teenage Caveman. Uh, it's done by the director who did Bully and Kids. Uh, his name is Larry Clark. It looks pretty cool. And also the person, the people who did the special effects is uh, Stan Winston Studio. So it's got to be somewhat good if he, if he did the effects or what his company did. Uh, the next one, some, a lot of you guys have gotten already. I got it because I love this movie and I think it's really underrated and I actually think it's a really, really good movie. I don't think it's just an alright movie or good movie. I think it's a really good movie. Uh, that movie is Howard the Duck. Only downside to this DVD is the disc. It's bland. I wish they would have put more to it. And I wish the cover would not have been censored. I wish it would have been minus the feet and plus the cigar that was in his mouth originally. Or him on like the chair like he's supposed to be. Next one I haven't opened yet, but I will want to go around get around to watching it. Uh, but I love this movie. It's uh, Fletch Lives. It's only $4.99 at uh, Best Buy. I actually got this because I walked by the bin. Like this like, little five dollar bin that they have there now. And it was sitting on top. So I was like five bucks that's a good deal. I think even Walmart's like seven fifty or more for it. Uh, next one is Death Wish. Love this movie. Absolutely awesome. Uh has a really cool little ending shot, which I really dig. Um this cover is better than the other cover that was out. The other cover that was out but kinda of sucked. Alright, let's see. Alright, we're about almost seven minutes now. Um, this next one is movie Capex. Got three bucks at uh, Best Buy. I mean, not Best Buy, Big Lots. Very, very cool movie. If you have not got to see this one, definitely uh, pick it up and watch it. It's pretty cool. I'm not a big, uh, what's his name, uh, Kevin Spacey fan, but Jeff Bridges I really like. Uh, Kevin Spacey is good in this one, though. And, uh,. American Beauty. It's not the one I like to mention. This next one is Born on the Fourth of July, which I paid also three bucks for at uh, Big Lots. Um, if you have not got to see this one, it's a really good uh, Tom Cruise film. I'm not the biggest fan of Tom Cruise, also, but it's another guy I don't really care for that much. But he has some good films, and uh, that is definitely one of them. Next one is. East of Eden, also three bucks. It's a two disc set that I got from uh, Big Lots. Fortunately, they ripped the hell out of the uh, uh, barcode. Uh, very, very good movie. Uh, if you like uh, James, I don't know, yeah, James Dean. <laughs> Can't remember if you forget that. If you like James Dean, definitely check that one out. It's one of his only three movies. Um, but I just need the other, I need to see one more film with his, and I got them all now. Then I'll have them all. The next two I also got from, uh, uh, Big Lodge for three bucks, and they're Hammer films. And the first one is Frankenstein Must Be Destroyed, which I've not opened yet, and The Curse of Frankenstein. The Curse of Frankenstein. Really, really cool movies. Just haven't opened them yet, because I haven't gotten around to watching them. Uh,. I hope to watch, get, get around and watch them soon. Next one is, uh, you know what, actually, you know what, I'm going to have to cut it, I'm going to cut it right now because I'm going on about nine minutes, and the next few, you'll be able to see in my, uh, next part of the video. Alright, you guys, just take it easy and come back for part two. Bye.